Hi, my name is Matthew, and I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to back up your Mac, PC, or Linux computer using CrashPlan. CrashPlan is an automatic offsite backup product. So let's go. Let's get started here. I'm going to run the installer. Very straightforward. Enter my password for my Mac here, so we can get permission to install. And finished. There we go. Close the installer. So, welcome to CrashPlan. Uh, step one of one. This is really easy. You just put in your name, your email, and uh, pick a really good password for your data. Your email and your password are used together to encrypt your data. So, another reason we use email is because if there's a problem, CrashPlan will email you automatically, notifying you. All right. So, that's it. I've just created uh, my uh, CrashPlan account and I'm ready to back up. All I have to do if I'm happy with the default settings, which is right here, my, my home folder, if I want to back up, I just push Start Backup. And that's it. I don't have to worry about this anymore. Uh, it'll automatically back up and run. Now this is online backup, meaning that my Mac is being backed up over the internet securely to CrashPlan Central, an online backup provider. There are benefits and disadvantages to online backup, and I want to talk about those real quick because this is what makes CrashPlan different. Okay, so the benefits of online backup are these. It's easy to get started, no real uh, initial investment in terms of hardware, you don't have to go buy a drive or CDs or anything. Works really well for small amounts of data, and you can access your data from anywhere. Also, it's off-site. Remember, if you're not backed up off-site, you're not really protecting your data from all those, uh, from all possible disasters, theft, fire, things like that. Okay, here are the disadvantages. It can take months if you have a lot of data. Uh, it can take weeks to get your data back if you have a lot of data. And it's expensive. Every month or every year, depending on the provider, you're going to get billed to store your data. And uh, two other points which not a lot of people are aware of is one, you've kind of lost physical control of your data. You don't really know where it is. You're going to have to trust the provider that they're going to take care of you. You can't point to a, a drive or a location and say, hey, my data is over there. And then the other uh, last point is all of your data is mixed in with everyone else's, which, you know, there are some downsides to that as well. Okay? So, if you're going to use us, CrashPlan Central, or another online backup provider, these are the good points, and here are the bad. So, how do we get around that? Well, what CrashPlan does is it lets you back up to a friend or another computer you own. Ideally, you'd back up to another computer that's off-site, or maybe even one on-site as well. It's up to you. So what I'm going to do is I happen to have a Windows machine here as well. I'm going to back up my Mac to a Windows machine. So it's another computer that I own. So here we go. Here's my Windows machine. I'm going to run the installer. And uh, while that's uh, running, let's actually talk a little bit about what's going on here. So because it's online backup, you can see it's taking a while. I don't have a lot of data in this demo. I've only got a couple gig. But that's not bad. If, if, you've, if you've only got a couple of gig, online backup is a great choice. But if you've got 50, 60, 70 gig, even 100 or 200 gig, it's time to think about other options. This is going to take too long to back up and get your data back. Checking on our Windows. Okay, looks good. Pretty standard Windows install here. Same story. Uh, looks a little different because it's a Windows application now instead of a Mac. Takes a little uh, bit here. Okay, and we're copying down our install. Great. By the way, uh, on Windows, CrashPlan runs as a service, so you can log out of your Windows machine and your backup will still continue to run, and other people can still back up to you, so you don't have to worry about leaving your machine unsecured. All right. Well. Here's CrashPlan on Windows. Now, a little bit different, instead of creating a new account, we're going to log into our existing account because I just created one. So, this is where the magic happens. Um, what CrashPlan has just done is it said, ah, here's Matthew again. Uh, he can back up to CrashPlan Central for free uh, for 30 days because we're in demo mode, or he can back up to his Mac. So if I wanted to, I could back up my home folder on my Windows machine to my Mac, but we're not going to do that. In fact, we're going to go the other way. Let's go back to my Mac. Look at here. We haven't done anything, and the Windows machine has automatically showed up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start backing up to my Windows machine. Now the advantages 
of doing this are I've got no monthly fees, I know exactly where my data is, and if I need to get my data back, it's going to be a lot faster. Another neat thing about CrashPlan is, you, as you see, we have all of our data eggs in two baskets. So if my XP box crashes, I still have my data at CrashPlan Central and vice versa. Okay? So you'll notice backups running a lot faster because this is over a LAN. The XP box is, is very nearby. We can look at the details of the backup we'd like. And if we go to the Windows machine, you can see now that the Mac is backing up as well. And we can get the details of that. We can even, if this were a friend, we can do things like quota the software and so on and so forth. But this gets into a lot of other features, which you know I don't want to cover in the intro. I encourage you to watch the other videos. I'll leave you with uh, two points, uh, restore and the overall benefit list. Okay, so restore for CrashPlan is amazing. You can start restoring immediately. Even though I haven't backed up everything, look at this. I can restore my data from CrashPlan Central, or I can restore it from my old XP box. I'm not done backing up, but already some of my files are protected. So that's one of the very powerful things about CrashPlan is, is, is you, you, you immediately start gaining protection. In fact, CrashPlan backs up the files that are newest first. So if you're working on an important document or something like that, you can be assured that it'll be protected first. So thanks for your time. Uh, here's a, a little list of uh, key benefits for CrashPlan. Faster backup and recovery, especially when you're using uh, your own machine or friends. It's more secure because you know where your data is, and our files are encrypted before they leave the machine. Uh, using your own destinations, there are no monthly fees. CrashPlan's a product, so just go ahead and uh, it's, it's the, the cheap version is only 19 bucks when we made this video, and the Pro was 60 and uh, you can back up to multiple destinations, you know, meaning uh, all your data isn't in one location, it can be in two or three locations. And finally, uh, unlike other solutions, the more data you have, the more CrashPlan starts to shine, because the longer it'll take to get your backup with traditional, uh, excuse me, to restore your backup with traditional media, uh, you, can, you can get it back very quickly with CrashPlan. So th again, thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I encourage you to download uh, CrashPlan. Uh, there's a free demo for 30 days, and take a look at the other videos if you have more questions.